Hey guys, I am Prathamesh Ghadge from Rajaram Bapu Institute of Technology, currently studying in second year B.Tech Mechanical Engineering. After sharing my experience of how I analyzed my weaknesses and the steps which I have initiated to overcome them, I am here back to share my top strength and aspiration of life with you. For this video, I have made a special effort in order to overcome my weaknesses which are laziness and procrastination. Of course, it wouldn't be, have, uh, it wouldn't be possible uh, without my top strength to make this effort. My top strength is to challenge a situation and myself. Yes, this tendency has led me to fail often times, actually many times. But the lessons which I have learned from failure is priceless. While challenging a system or a situation, we need to deal with risk. And over time, I have learned that we need to calculate or measure all probable uh, probable risk which we call as calculated risk even though challenges tend to have more chances of failure these are i think that these are the best tools for introspection introspection and growth of us if we fail them fearlessly now i would like to tell something about my aspiration before that I would like to clear your approach about what aspiration means to me. Aspiration. For many of them, it is only about a profession or a position. For example, I want to become an engineer or I want to become an IS officer. Though the purpose behind becoming anything is superior, still it's out of my reach. Because my aspiration includes feelings. Yes, in order to achieve something, we need to think what we will do after achieving it. That's why I analyzed that feelings are the most important thing after ach achieving your goals. How do you feel about something? That's why I have converted it into more simpler way to explain you that after becoming an IS officer, how do I want to feel? I want to feel powerful, happy, satisfied, or it can be anything. Likewise, we need to identify and specify and need to introspect that what we actually need or what we actually want to feel after achieving our goals. And here's my aspiration. I aspire to be an entrepreneur with purpose to serve and assure a quality homemade food to the people who stay away from their home for achieving their goals. Yes, in today's world, a field of viral diseases, hygiene and health, both are the prime priorities of any individual out there. And yes, uh, uh, while having discussion with my brother, on scarcity of quality and hygiene uh, in affordable price uh, related to food is been noticeable. What can we do? We thought of developing a system or a food outlet which can provide and serve students, uh, working professionals, the quality and the homemade food, the taste and the value for money, such kind of outlet we are going to uh, we are planning to launch in within four months uh, uh, right in front of the college in which currently i am studying after getting a secured position in this purpose purposeful business i want to extend my vision and build a team within this 10 year a team which will correlate my vision and spread it to entire world this team will work on expanding the business as well as the idea the thought to provide value for money for a quality and hygienic food lastly i want to leave you with a note that intelligence is ability to change which is said by albert einstein this always reminds me of one thing that 
in order to bring a change you need to make efforts you need to work on the things which are under your control and i believe that none or no thing is in your control rather than yourself you need to start working on yourself to build and to achieve anything in life thank you very much